Are you a big fan of Gatorade? If so, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're drinking nothing more than overly glorified toxic sugar water. Also, if you've wondered why your Gatorade seems very syrupy, that's due to the ton of added sugar and other toxic ingredients it has, in which we're going to discuss in detail in this video, as well as safer and healthier options you could choose from. Make sure to stay until the end because I'm going to provide you with a surprising alternative many people are unaware of, and I will discuss the incredible benefits of this mystery option. Without further ado, let's dive right in. This is how naive and uninformed Gatorade assumes you are, or I should say, Pepsi company, because that's who owns Gatorade. For those of you unfamiliar with Gatorade's beginnings, let's dive a little bit into its origins. Gatorade was first developed in 1965 by a team of researchers led by Dr. Robert Cade. It was originally made for the Gators at the University of Florida to replenish the carbohydrates that the school's student athletes burned and the combination of water and electrolytes they lost in sweat during vigorous sports activities. Originally created at the University of Florida in 1962, then produced and marketed by Stokely Van Camp in 1965, the Gatorade brand was purchased by the Quaker Oats Company in 1983, which in turn was bought by Pepsi Company in 2000 and since then, the drink has been absolutely nothing like its original counterpart, which came in a glass bottle, no harmful plastics, had clean ingredients, plenty of potassium, a high electrolyte content, and only 14 grams of sugar, as opposed to today's Gatorade, which has up to 34 grams of added sugar. I personally was a fan of Gatorade while growing up as a teen in the 80s. It was a superb sports drink. Let's move on and dissect the list of toxic ingredients today's Gatorade contains. First off, it has a whopping 34 grams of added sugar. This is terrible. This makes your glucose levels skyrocket to the moon. There's no reason why anything should contain such an excessive amount of sugar. The original Gatorade had only less than half of that amount. Then get this, according to the ingredients list, it shows it has sugar and dextrose. Dextrose is sugar. These are two of the same ingredients. You see how stupid these companies take you for? In addition to sugar being disguised under 75 other terms that many companies are known to use, dextrose in particular is classified as the most harmful and destructive simple carbohydrate you could put in your body. Moving on to natural flavors, there is no such thing. This is nothing more than a marketing ploy. Unless it grows from trees or the soil, it's not naturally derived. Next, we have modified food starch. Under regulatory guidelines, they consider this toxic additive as generally safe. I don't know about you, but the fact that they have the audacity to state it's generally safe really makes me uneasy. This is a lab-produced synthetic additive known to destroy your gut flora, and here they are deeming it as safe. The fact that our regulatory practices are such a joke in this country is precisely why some of our food, certain types of meat, and over 30 of our food ingredients we use are banned in numerous countries. Now here's where it gets very scary. Gatorade contains Red 40, also known as Allura Red, which is a highly synthetic food dye and has been banned in the UK, Switzerland, and a number of other countries. Shockingly, this toxic trash is also found in medications, in cosmetic products, it's in Flintstones vitamin gummies, children's Benadryl allergy liquid, 
NyQuil in flu, children's Motrin, etc. In addition to this toxic crap, which has no business being in anything we consume, there have been studies linked to Red 40 contributing to the causes of several mental disorders in children. It also has glycerol ester of rosin, which is purchased from large chemical suppliers far from a naturally sourced ingredient. Another alarming ingredient found in Gatorade is citric acid. According to the Library of Medicine, citric acid as a food additive is not natural citric acid. It's a chemical preservative manufactured through fermentation using Aspergillus niger, also known as black mold. Citric acid naturally exists in fruit and vegetables. However, it is not the naturally occurring citric acid, but the manufactured citric acid version that is used extensively as a food and beverage additive. Other alarming concerns about this toxic garbage is the fact Gatorade has been banned in the U.S. by Whole Foods Market. Whole Foods has a list of ingredients which they deem unacceptable in food. Items with ingredients on the list are not allowed in Whole Foods Market. Gatorade Orange has a high glycemic index, which is even higher than soda. The glycemic index for Gatorade Orange is designated as high at 89 source, the University of Sydney. The GI for a soft drink soda is between 56 and 62 source, American Diabetes Association. The higher the GI, the greater the potentially harmful reaction by our bodies. Folks, quit slow poisoning yourselves with this useless garbage, which has hardly any potassium in it and is completely depleted of nutrients. Instead, there are several options you could turn to. You can turn to pure natural coconut water or premium high quality spring water like Mountain Valley, which is bottled in glass instead of the toxic plastic bottles, which leaches into the water can also turn to recharge, which is essentially a much healthier version of Gatorade. And lastly, there's Pedialyte Sport, which has only five grams of sugar compared to Gatorade's whopping 34 grams of sugar. And it also has a significant higher content of electrolyte versus Gatorade. That's it for today, folks. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with friends and family. By sharing it, it helps the YouTube algorithm make the video available to a much larger audience, in which case it helps my channel to grow. Thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoyed the video and found it informative, click here. See you guys on the next one.